Panic at the Disco, Miss Jackson. Sorry about that mix-up. Still a little bit of rock music for your Wednesday morning, though. We are here with a very special episode of Abby's News Radio Show. Uh, We are currently interviewing Carly Jane, a nine-year-old from Wichita, who is a completely online student, favorite color blue. We're kind of getting into it, being what it's like being a kid during this pandemic, what it's like doing online school etc so we've just kind of been asking her some some questions and i got a couple more for her um how do you stay motivated during online school carly um well my teachers are very nice and they stay keep me motivated um my mom keeps me motivated i have a bunch of signs in my uh that in my uh kitchen because that's where my uh setup is Mm -hmm. and it's a bunch of signs of like stay on track carly and but then there's like one that says that and then the rest are like like signs like charts of what we're gonna do for the day of the week and stuff and yeah that that keeps me motivated like to do lists i used to do lists every day too Yep. Yeah, I think the best way to stay motivated, at least uh, at the college level, um, is to make sure that you're keeping track of all your assignments, whether you're using an agenda, where you, whether you're using a planner, whether you're just using a notebook and a to-do list. Uh, staying uh, completely organized is going to be really good for motivation overall. And also make sure that you're taking some like mental health time. Make sure you're taking time for self-care. Make sure that you are... Uh, creating a safe space for yourself to feel however you feel emotionally um, no matter what the circumstances because I know this pandemic can take a lot out of people and that can be really difficult to deal with and so the only way we can stay motivated is by balancing both our emotions and our academics and so we need to do that by taking self-care and relaxing during some times and so I think that's that's really good, Carly. I think definitely doing to-do lists and uh, having a good support system to keep you motivated is of the utmost importance. So I think that's very insightful for, for a nine-year-old. Um, <laughs> so what do you think, from, from a child's point of view, uh, what do you think could stop the pandemic that is currently happening? Um, well, I think if more people actually went with it and just did what they were supposed to by wearing masks and staying clean and washing their hands constantly and you know wearing hand sanitizer and all of that i think if more people actually followed instructions and did it i think that would definitely help um like shut the pandemic down and down and lower so it stops and gets smaller and then obviously eventually uh, goes down all the way where it stops. Mm-hmm. Obviously, you heard it here, folks. Just follow instructions, and uh, the pandemic will be stopped. I think. I think that that's something that a lot of people are kind of taking advantage for. Um, kind of confusing freedom with just like collectivism. And if we all come together and do what we need to do, then it's going to be for the betterment of everyone instead of us individually. So while we all need to focus on our own personal health, we also need to come together as a community and recognize that um, that in wearing masks, in being socially distant, in uh, doing all of these things, we're going to be able to help all of the people around us too, which is also very important. So... That's very insightful, Carly. Um, speaking of the pandemic, what are you looking forward to after the pandemic is over? I know that we had initially thought that it was going to be like a two-week lockdown, an extra little break, and that slowly turned into eight months of essentially quarantine and uh, kind of being stuck in the house. So what are you looking forward to to do right after? Now, I know this is quite specific, but I would like to go to the mall and go to Orange Julius. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. That that would be a that'd be a fun day. Um, do you want to hang out with your friends or uh, anything else as well? Uh, yes, I would like to see my friends again. That would be nice. I would like to do stuff and not be stuck in the house. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to go to the movie theater and get some pretzels. 
Ooh, movie theater. Nice, nice, nice. I would like to go to a movie theater, too. I know I also really miss my family visiting me um, in college and stuff. I, I wish that you could come and see my room and everything. We're not actually allowed to have other people, like, outside of campus in our dorms. So that's been something. I haven't been able to show you, like, all the cool posters that I have up and everything. And that's kind of sad. So yes. I'm looking forward to a world where you can hang out in my room. Yes, I'm very excited for that. Too. Definitely, definitely. I think also just not taking uh, for granted these little things that we're talking about. I mean, going to Orange Julius, going to a movie, all of these things were things that we were doing so frequently in years past, just so casually. I think, I think after 2020 and I think after this pandemic dies down, I think after all of this, we're really going to be more appreciative, at least for a period of time, about all of the freedoms and experiences that we have access to. So yeah. Yes, definitely. Yeah, I think it's taught us to be to be cautious, to be safe, to be healthy, and also to be thankful for what we have. Do you think? Yes, I would definitely say that. Yeah, what what are you thankful for, Carly? I'm thankful for my family, my food, my friends, my home. I'm thankful to have a home because I know some people in the world actually do not, unfortunately, have a home. A home. Mm-hmm so definitely um, definitely yeah i'm thankful for access to education i'm thankful for um having the ability to to learn with new groups of people and uh i'm thankful for clean water and i'm thankful for really getting to experience um a new world of opportunities in college and I think that's been really beneficial I'm also thankful for my family and friends and everything else but yeah so I think this has definitely added a layer of appreciation and gratitude to to yes. the world um, yes definitely I would say that do you think we should listen to some green day yes alrighty <laughs> next up we have some holiday by green day <laughs> <laughs> 